Hello once again, everyone, and welcome to the Sanctuary. I'm your host, Cruz Nagex. Once again, we are playing Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, as a bit of a trip down memory lane. Let's uh, go over the rules right quick. Just as a reminder, I am playing this on my main character, Chris Valentine, under New Game Plus. As such, I am doing making a bit of... I'm making a few limitations for myself. First and foremost, I am playing each expansion in a realm re in Final Fantasy XIV as Meteor's job in the promotional art. As such, that means that in a realm reborn, I will be playing as Warrior. I will be doing all duties under duty support, with the exception of normal raids, alliance raids, and duties that do not support duty support. And finally, I will be wearing quest level appropriate gear. So that means that if the quest level is 35, I will be wearing level 35 gear or lower. Whew. That was a mouthful. So now that I've officially knocked stuff over, let's get into this video, which is burying the dead. OK, so where we left off. Sorry, where we left off in the Arom Reborn storyline was that, unfortunately, the Garleans had found the Scions, and as such, most of the Scions were slaughtered, with the exception being our main crew, who always gathered together. So as of right now, we do not know where the rest of the Scions are. It's kind of, it was kind of sad to see all of the scions slaughtered again, but anyway, we ran back here to Camp Drybone to see if we could get a handle on things. And it looks like the priest here in at the church of St. Adama Landama is a friend of the scions. So we're in safekeeping for the most part, but at the same time, we run some serious risks. But anyway, um, let me open up. Now, one thing you might have noticed that is different is that there are two quests in or two main scenario quests in the Church of St. Adama Landama um, when in the current Final Fantasy 14, which is portrayed at the top. We only have one. And this was around the time I started moving between my gaming chair and my futon. And the blues. Oh, and then I opened the uh, the chat log. Which I hated doing every single second of, yeah, I turned it off because I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, are we going to do the, oh yeah, we did the uh, side quest with Eduard first, um, called A Little Elbow Grease. Um, and basically it was just bringing this oven to Mark's, well, yeah, Mark's to to uh, fix it up. He sends me to get an, a, a bronze ornamental hammer to start off with, thereby spending our money. <laughs> Thank God we don't have to do that anymore. Wait, did I get the... Oh no, I got the silver pieces. Anyway, let's talk to Marcus and start doing our rounds. Excuse me, Chris. Do you have a moment? It concerns this broken hole log, which was found in the pocket of a man brought here for burial. There is something familiar about it. But 
just what I cannot say. Perhaps if I tinker with the device, it will come to me. However, I lack the proper tools to do so. I would ask that you journey to Camp Drybone in my stead to obtain a bullpoint chisel and a pair of needle-nose pincers. They are often used by goldsmiths, so perhaps they would be the best people to ask. Okay, we have some dialogue changes. Um, I do want to check this um, because I do want to check on this real quick because I have a feeling this is part of the quest. And because I am a goldsmith, he's changing this. So I do want to do a quick check on the... On the Final Fantasy XIV wiki as I drop my controller and everything else. Oh. oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they definitely changed it. Something fierce. If only to aggravate us and make our coin purse lighter. Um, so, uh, so he asked that we, he said that we may need to visit the, the, uh, goldsmith's guild to obtain them. Uh, goldsmith's guild I should say um, but yeah side by side now we'll just finish Mark's dialogue there of course I do not expect you to foot the bill here take this coin purse that should cover it All right, so, like a moron, once again, I decided to... Take the Chocobo Porter to Ulda instead of teleporting, but in reality, now it's just all the more quicker. But before we continue anywhere else, let's uh, fast forward to see. All right, let's see. Let me see. Okay, yeah, no, uh, no dialogue changes for the most part. A bullpoint chisel, a bullpoint chisel, you say, and a pair of Neil nose pincers. Those things don't come cheap, you know. Those balls. I mean, yes, that should be sufficient payment. Nice doing business with you. <laughs> All right, back up the ramp we go. And again, having a 20 second sprint actually worked in our favor. Brought the tools I requested? Hmm. Something occurs to me. Please, wait here for a moment. Y 
It was for naught. Though I repaired the device easily, the sensation that stirs within me remains a mystery. But how? How did I do it? These hands. My hands. They move with a mind of their own. Deftly manipulating the clockwork mechanisms. There was no doubt or certainty. I knew exactly what to do. As though I had performed the same motions countless times before. P pardon me, Chris. This is, was a mistake. Please give the horror log to Sister El Elonet. The man who once owned it is currently in her care. I think it best that he be returned to him. Good morrow to you, sir. Have you come to pay your respects to this man? Never before have I seen such a queer device. You say that it measures the passing of time. Mayhap they are more common in Garlemald. I am given to understand that its cities are filled with all manner of amazing technologies. Mark said it, that it once belonged to the deceased. Oh dear. You don't suppose that the owner might have been a Gaulian spy? It may behoove us to notify the authorities in Camp Drybone. But, mayhap more importantly, how did Marx manage to repair this device? I knew he had a talent for the trades, but this goes far beyond mending fences and thatching roofs. Alright. Oh, we have a missing quest from, uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, from Ilkum. Uh, yeah, we had to make, we had to help, uh, make a bottle of Aqua del Sol for Mark's, um, Thanks to Ilkum. All right, let's continue with our quest. I recognize you now, Chris. Allow me to express my deepest condolences for those who lost their lives in the attack. I apologize if discussing this upsets you, but you should know that the bodies of your comrades are presently being removed from the Waking Sands and prepared for transport here. If you wish to leave this work to others, I understand. However, taking part might help you find closure. Alright. Back to Horizon. I took a minute to pour myself a drink and back in a rum reborn. I went with the cheapest transport I could get whenever I could.
had to readjust my headset too. I am so glad I use wireless headsets now. Yeah. You look. You don't look like one of them church fellas. Not that I'll turn you away, no sir. As you can see, we've got a pile of unidentified bodies over yonder. No one's come to claim them, so off to the lich yard they go. You're thankful you didn't have to go inside and see the carnage for yourself. The stuff of nightmares, I tell you. God's damned Imperials. I don't know what quarrel they had with these folks. I sure as hells don't want to know. The sooner we put this behind us, the better. Say, ain't I seen you around here before? Or do you just have one of them faces? Eh, never mind. And it old does the carriage come to haul the bodies to the lich yard out by the east gate. There's only eight left to load up. Seeing as I'm exhausted from carrying all the others, I've a mind to leave the remainder to you. I want to cover your nose while you work. Some of these folk are starting to turn. Alright, did... Alright, let's go get our fallen comrades. What happened to the big fella? Ah, forget it. Let's bring in the next batch and toss them in the back. Ain't like they'll complain if you're off. But ain't you a strong one? All in one trip! I think there's no need for me to lend you a hand with the rest then. What a prick. Leaving me to do the dirty work. Back to the coachman. Come on, come on! Let's finish this before I die of old age! That should be all of them. Thanks for the help! Reckon it won't take long to deliver all the corpses to the lich yard. Even so, you might want to hurry back and tell them that our work here is done. Alright. Back to dry bone. I always ended up having some interruption or another. It sucked. Alright, let's talk to Elned. I see that you decide to heed my advice. I pray that in doing so, you found some small measure of peace. 
The first carriage from Vesper Bay arrived not long ago, and we have begun preparing your comrades for burial. I had a hand in the initial rites, and I... I would like you to know that, for many, death came quickly. Rest assured that we will treat them with the utmost respect, and do everything we can to shepherd them to Thal's realm. Alright. Oh, we have, uh... So, we have a quest called The Warden Works in Mysterious Ways where we have to bury some... They had to bury the plots in the same places of uh we had to offer a prayer to the mark of the warning for some reason i don't even remember why at this point but yeah All right, back to bury me not on the lone prairie. Although we can perform rites for most of the scions, there is one whom we cannot accept. We would like you to return this one to her people, the sylphs of Little Solace. It is only proper that she be given into the care of her friends and family, so that they may mourn her in accordance with sylphic tradition. All right, off to the Hawthorne hut. Let's fast forward a little bit so we're not, so we cut down the commute time. Luxio. This one is surprised to see the walking one in Little Solace. How can these ones assist walking one? <gasps> no, Raxia! But this one does not understand. <laughs> Maxio. Kamaxio, this one has had much wailing. This one would know what has caused such distress. <laughs> Terrible news, Elsa One! Awful news! Walking One has returned to Little Solace? But why? These ones have not requested further aid. No, Raxia! How did this happen? Explain everything to this one at once! So, not only Noraxia, but many of Walking One's friends were lost as well. <laughs> Noraxia! Noraxia went to Thanalan at the behest of this one. Oh, whoops. Walking one was with Noraxia at the end. Tell this one that Noraxia was brave. Tell this one that Noraxia did not suffer. This one is glad to hear Walking One's words. Thank you for bringing Noraxia home, Walking One. These ones also wish to thank Praying Ones. Tell praying ones these ones will remember this kindness. This one demands vengeance! Imperial ones must pay! Imperial ones must suffer! When time comes for walking ones to face imperial ones, do not forget these ones. These ones will not have Noraxia's death be for naught. The 
these ones will fight! All right, back to Drybone. Such a sad state of affairs still. We thank you for your service to the, to the church and to the cells. You may be pleased to know that in your absence, we interned the remaining scions in the lich yard. Perhaps you still wish to do more for your friends. If so, I would remind you that you have already done so much on their behalf. Please, take a rest and set aside your burdens for now, Chris. All right, let's talk to Marx. I'm... I'm not imagining it, Chris. I know I'm being watched. This is different. Sinister. Oh, we have a little bit of extra dialogue if we'll switch to scene three for a moment. So remember that missing quest? This is referencing that particular missing quest um, about uh, Ilkum, who gives Marx the uh, Aqua del Sol. But anyways, back to side by side. This is different. Sinister. It's as if I am under observation. The feeling comes and goes. But I felt it when I last ventured outside. Yes, I know I felt it. Will you look outside for me? Please? It will only take a moment. Okay. And I've reached our destination. And of course, an Imperial. Nice. Now they're posed now they're starting to pose a little bit of a challenge, you know? Alright, let's get Bayon back into place. You were attacked, weren't you? Are you unharmed? Thank the gods. I knew it. He was watching me. But why was he watching me? What did he want with me? Did he perhaps know something of my past? If only I could have asked him. I... I need to think. Please, allow me a moment alone. Wait, Father Iliad must hear of this. Will you tell him for me? It's important. I think others may come for me again. Heavens for Fend. As such a thing should happen on holy ground. Do you have any idea who this man was? Did you notice anything distinctive about his garb or possession? This. This is Garlean Steel. Which means the man who was watching Marx was... Make haste to Camp Drybone at once. We must summon the immortal flames before more Imperials come.
And look who it is. Hmm. I fondly hoped that I might be the first to speak with you. Would that I had been so fortunate. At ease, adventurer. I come not on behalf of the Empire. On the contrary, I mean to revive the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. And to that end... I have come in search of a legend. The greatest engineer of our time, Master Sid Garland. I have come for you. I fear you are mistaken, child. He is but a poor soul who bore witness to the horrors at Cartano. I beg of you, leave us in peace. Wait, I... <sighs> Hear me, Sid. Eorzea needs you. Sid, was it? Here. These belong to you. I thought you bore the mark of greatness. It seems that I was right. Our time together was all too brief, but it felt as though my son had returned to me. You have brought joy to an old man's life. It is time for you to help those who truly need you. Who are you? Alfino Leveilleur, at your service. As a scion of the Seventh Dawn, I stand against our primal and imperial foes, as my grandfather once did. Tis no secret what befell our order at the Waking Sands. Word has already spread across Eorzea. The repercussions are far greater than you realize. In the wake of the Calamity, the three city-states focused their efforts solely on reconstruction, leaving the scions to combat the primal threat unaided. And lo, we are all but destroyed. Yet even as the nations mourn our demise, and abandon what little hope they have left, we cannot forsake our duty, now least of all. The Ixal have summoned Garuda once more, and she torments the people of Kurthus as we speak. Her appetite for destruction far exceeds that of other primals. Obviously. Worse, in her present incarnation, our Baldessian colleagues believe she surpasses both Ifrit and Titan in strength. Yet, therein lies an opportunity. Were we somehow to defeat Garuda, it would serve as a warning to the other beast tribes that even their mightiest gods can be felled. If we are to face our foe, we must first circumvent the tempest that shields her sanctuary. And for that, we need an airship. Your airship, Sid. I... I have an airship? Yes, Sid, you do. Your very own airship. It was last seen in the skies over Gridania, not long before the Calamity. So let us begin our search there. Uh, an, an airship? Uh, my airship? Oh, wait.
And there's the man of the hour. Come, let us put an end to the primals. Together, we will show the world that the Scions are still a force to be reckoned with. They need my airship. They need me. Yep. All right, um. Did we not have a. Uh... Oh, and my, yeah, that's right. Third level 36 now. Okay. All right, that's why we ended the episode so quickly. All right, we're going to take a quick break and we will be back with more in just a few minutes. Um we just got to change up the videos real quick and uh make sure that everything's on the up and up. But anyways, stay tuned for more.